What's going on everybody? So I'm back in the video. Hope everyone's having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use your iPad as a second screen or a monitor on your PC or Mac. So this is very useful for anyone who just can't afford a second monitor because they are quite pricey. And this is a great alternative uh, because of the iPad screen size. So I've been using this um, over the last two weeks because I just finished exams today and I was actually using it just because I had so many uh, just tabs open and I do only have one monitor. I used to have a second one, but I did give it away. So this is very useful, especially during exam period or even if you're doing video editing or you just want multiple screens this is the perfect alternative before we start the video make sure you guys drop a like on the video it will help me out a ton so the first thing you guys want to do is head to your pc or mac and obviously go to this website which i'm linked down below in the description is splashtop.com wired so um like i said it's available for mac or your pc so i have a pc in this video and once you guys have done that, um, just install the software on your computer. I already have it installed right here, Splashtop Wired X Display Agent, and it should look exactly like this. So um, there's nothing too crazy with it. We have the settings tab, advanced about. What we wanna do is make sure we're under the settings where we can change the frame rate between high, normal, and low, and then the quality between high and normal. So the way, obviously, you would wanna select this will depend on your internet connection. So I have pretty fast internet speed, so I have both frame rate and quality set to high, but um, you guys will have to test around with it just seeing how um, it runs afterwards, which I'm gonna be showing you guys, but I have set uh, both frame rate and quality to high. So the next thing we have to do is go to our iPad and install the Splashtop Wired X Display application from the App Store. So the next thing we want to do is go to the App Store, which I'm linked down below in the description. So if you click on that link, it should redirect you to the App Store where we install the Splashtop Wired X Display HD uh, application. It is completely free, so we can now open up the app. So after we open up the app, very simple. All you have to do is gives you the instructions, connect your uh, iPad to your PC or Mac, whichever you're using. So obviously for me, I'm gonna connect it to my PC. So I'm gonna do that right now. So once you connect your iPad to your PC or Mac, it's gonna automatically detect it if you have both apps open, obviously. And make sure you guys do allow access. So if it asks you to like trust the um, device to your PC or Mac, make sure you guys allow access or it will not work. So from here, you guys can see um, both apps are open now and on the iPad, we you do see my mouse right there. Um, if you want to arrange the display, so for example, if your iPad's on the left-hand side, um, you guys can change that by going to the search tab right here. Just search up your display settings. And then from here, number one is my PC right there and number two is the iPad. So for example, we can change that to the left-hand side. And also make sure you guys extend these displays so you have that selected. If you have a duplicate, um, obviously, I don't think you guys want to duplicate your screens or your display, uh, you want to extend them. So there we have it right there. And after that, you guys can do whatever you want. You can drag this browser right here. So if you're on YouTube, for example, so we go to YouTube, we can drag it to this screen, make it full screen and we can play any video. So um, I'll just play a random one right here. And then for example, if we want to open up some Adobe Premiere, some editing, or anything else. So I'm gonna make this into full screen a second here. So we got a full screen right here of YouTube playing. Wow, we can do some editing or even some studying, but there you guys have it. That's how you guys use your iPad as a second screen, second monitor. If you guys did enjoy this video, drop a like on it, hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys never miss a video. That's basically it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.